Hi, my name is Linda Barron's Cat, and I am here to read you a nice, short, juicy story. Yeah, the story is called Flip Flop, and it is by Dana Michemua. She is the author. And you see these two girls? These two girls are trying to decide if they should, what should they should do. Should they step in the water into the ocean? But how should they step in? They don't know what to do. Or should they do something else? So this is your first step to reading into reading. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Flip flop. We can't decide. Swim in the pool or chase the tide. Do cannonballs or ride the float? Fish from the dock or sail the boat? What should we do? Check out the fair or try the zoo? See? They're not even sure if they want to go in the ocean or in the water. Now they're thinking of trying the zoo or a fair. Ride the coaster or win a prize? Now they want to go on a roller coaster all of a sudden. Enjoy an amusement park. Watch fireworks or fly fireflies. Again, they can't decide. We don't know. We flip, we flop. Look, ice cream cone. Now they want to look at an ice cream cone or maybe a frozen pop. They just don't know. They flip their flop. Help wash the car or swing and doze. Well, it's nice. They want to help somebody wash the car, but what fun would that be? Now they're so tired from what, probably washing the car. Or they're so tired, they decide to take a nap. Or they're tired because of there's so many choices that they can't decide what to do. It's flip or flop. From a straw or garden hose? Well, 
Now you think they're either trying to decide to sip from a straw or from a hose in the water next to that cute little dog. Wear flip-flops or toasted shoes. Now they're back to the ocean. But they haven't decided what to do with their with flip-flops. Or whether they should toss the shoes. So let's see what they decide. what we choose. So they, they decided to let go of the flip flop and go into the ocean with no shoes at all, no flip flop, no nothing, just two bare feet. So they finally made a choice. And that is the end of the story. Well, we realize that the idea of this story is about making choices. And, you know, a lot of people have difficulty making choices. Even me. Very difficult. But you know what? In the end, we do all right. In the end, we do find a choice that we like and that we are comfortable with. So, I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope to see read to you another story for next time. I love you and for right now, goodbye.